Hello, good day, and welcome back to Go on the Run. And a happy 2024 to all of you, including my existing subscribers, new viewers, and new subscribers to the channel. Thank you so much, whether you just watch the video or you subscribe. I hope this is going to be a fantastic year for you. Um, I am still sort of recovering from my illness. I don't know what that was. It wasn't COVID. I checked twice while I had it, whatever it was, and I'm still coughing a little bit. However, I want to talk about what's next. Um, generally, I do this every year. I give a heads up of what we sort of did and then what we're going to do. And so this is like our guidepost and so on, our North Star, if you will, having these idea of what we're going to cover so that you have an idea of what's coming up. And then, of course, you can give me feedback too. So definitely um, jump in the comments and let me think of, let me know what you think about the plan. And if you want to see something added or removed or delayed or anything like that, absolutely let me know. Um, there's certain things, that, of course, I can't do just because um, I'm doing this because I love doing it. I love sharing information. I love learning. I love talking to people about um, you know the things I learn and learning from them. And this is one way in which I can give back from all the wonderful people I get to learn from. So while I do this for fun and I love doing it, I am not there where I can do it full time. And so I have a day job. And what that means is that sometimes I get super busy and therefore I can't do certain things. Eventually, I really like to get to doing some long term, really in-depth applications, both for you and for me. I think that would benefit me also to be able to do that, but not there yet. With all of that said, let's jump into it because I know somebody is going to be like, hey, you spent so much time talking about whatever before you actually got into it. So, hey, let's jump into it. What, is 20, what were, were the topics planned for 2023? Um, so we had NATS, um, we had application security and specifically looking at authentication and authorization used in JWT. Um, I wanted to cover this um, application framework called Bud Live, um, then Buffalo and Pocket Base. And then I wanted to possibly talk about serial database, service mesh, and temporal this workflow engine. What we ended up actually doing, however, in 2023, we got to do NATS and we got to do application security and we got to do go fiber and so now in 2024 um we don't need to do NATS because we did it already we don't need to do application security and we certainly don't need to do go fiber that was all done in um 2023 so in 2024 i want to um still stay go focus and so um, I've been wanting to revisit Go module for a while. Um, there are not new things with Go modules that I think my old Go module videos probably a little bit outdated. And then there's something called workspaces that's been added. I think it was added in Go 1 to 13 or something. And so I think Go module and Go workspaces kind of go together. And so I, I want to revisit that. Um, so the user requested that um, I sort of show how to use um, TLS security with NATS. And I said, yes, because I figure it's just going to be like one video. Of course, when I look into it, if it doesn't make sense um, to really sh be able to show you clearly, I'll, I'll disclose that. But I think this should be okay. I did show in NATS how you can create accounts and secure them and so on, but I didn't do it using um, you know TLS. Um, it was, so it wasn't a secure endpoint. So I think that's what they're looking for. So I think that should be pretty easy to generate a self-signed certificate, start NATS up, NATS up with it. So I think that's okay. The other thing is that NATS introduced something called services. And it's super cool. I've been playing with it. And since we talk about microservices and we use Go a lot to build microservices and a lot of things we do are around microservices, um, I, I think that though it makes sense to go back and revisit that new feature that's in NAS. I don't know if it's fully baked yet, as in it's completed, but I don't think it's a bad idea to at least see where it's going. It's like super, super cool. Now, um, another thing is uh, I just generally want to focus on like um, Go packages and frameworks. So for that, I'm going to be including a um, pack Go package called Go XID. Now, what is Go XID? Sort of IDs that look sort of like UUIDs. Um, they're globally unique, but they're also sortable. 
And so the number of features that I'm not going to say I'm going to explain now because when we cover um, XID, I'll be able to explain it. But if you're building database application, I think this is something you're going to be interested in. Now, um, there are other things that we can cover, right? Certainly, um, Surreal Database, Service Mesh, and Workflow. Those are not Go specific. They're not Go framework. And nobody requested them. Those are just things that I think I should cover. But in 2024, I doubt whether we're going to get the time to um, sort of address any of those. Um, so for now, I'm going to say, let's don't worry about um, all that other stuff. I still think Service Mesh fits in with the whole microservice things, fits in with Kubernetes, which we have done. So I'll keep that on the table for now. But there's another thing that I write playing with called AppSmith. And I'm sure you why I think AppSmith is interesting. When we were doing um, Go Fiber application, um, one of the things that I show you when we were talking about, I think was um, part nine or 10, when we were looking at using templates, is I showed what my UI would look like that I'm trying to build out, okay? And so we had a list of items, and then we have item de details, right? And so AppSmith is this application that allows you to focus on the front-end part of your application and makes it super easy for you to tie it into a back-end. So for example, here's a new application, all right? And so you can see that I can start an application from a template. I can generate pages from, you know, database table, or I can go ahead, so this is page one. I mean, of course I can add more pages, right? I can say a new blank page or generate from database or whatever. So let's say I add another page, now I have page one and two. And in this application, that's right now application one on title. And then I can build it out with widgets just by dragging and dropping things. I can say that I want a table, all right? And then I can, you know, even connect this to a database or some data source or restful endpoint. And there are ways in which I could generate the UI just by giving it a sample of what my data look like. This is really, really, really cool, right? And you have all these different kind of controls here and all this other stuff. So I'm not going to go through it right now, but I just kind of want to give you an idea of something that you can use to at least start building out your UI. If you're like me and you're not a UI person, but when you have an idea for an application, you just want to sort of start mocking it up real fast. Well, you can actually have like a usable UI that you can then, you can easily use it to tie into your backend. Because remember, we're doing a lot of backend stuff like API servers and stuff like this. And so, yeah, so this is what AppSmith in 20 seconds probably look like, but hopefully we'll get to talk a little bit more about it. Another one is NHN, which is like sort of um, a data flow application. And um, if you're not, um, doing stuff where you have to extract, you know, like ETL, extract data from one place or, um, you know, set up pipeline, data pipelines, then NHN is not going to be for you. But again, very interesting stuff. And I used to use um, Apache Nifi and similar things for doing data manipulation and data flow. And so, yeah, data pipelining. So I'm definitely excited about NHN. So we might look at that. All right. So that's what um, some of the things look like. Now, in terms of the order in which we're going to do things, well, we probably don't want to consider service mesh right now. And so it's going, I'm going to put a, you know, cross it out for now and say that oh, we'll keep it there, but maybe we won't get for, to it anytime soon. Then the very first thing I want to do in this year is address the user requested stuff because again, this is a very simple one. So this is going to be first. And then um, go into the NAT service stuff, Go XID, Pocket Base. Pocket Base is really interesting. It's this Go application, but it's actually like a full fledged application to give you everything you need to, to, to run a microservice and then use basically um, including storage, API calls, all this other stuff. And <laughs> you just essentially just have to drop your pages, whether it's HTML or whatever. Um, React pages, whatever, Next.js pages in this directory. And then you can have like a full-fledged application, a full stack application built on Go. Like it's really, really cool. So I think we'll definitely do that. And then um, I want to cover AppSmith and then um, maybe like N810. And then um, those I anticipate to be just like two, three videos each. 
and then jump into the Go module and workspace stuff. In terms of service mess, I'll keep it, but put a cross through it just to say that we may not get to it this year. All right, so that's it. That's the sort of the plan for 2024. Definitely leave comments and questions and even make some suggestions and we can see how I can integrate it. Then I'll see how I can integrate it. So thank you again. Um, if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber and you're returning, thank you so much. Um, please leave a comment, thumbs up the video. Um, that helps with you know the attention on the YouTube algorithm recommended the video, recommending the video um, to our um, patron subscriber, Mikhail. Thank you so much. I, I see you've been stepping up, so I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mikhail. Um, Please stay safe and see you in the next video. Bye.